Hi guys. Um, I had to take down my video because I reported the van that tried running me off the road. So until the issue's dealt with, I can't have it on YouTube apparently. So I've had to, I've had to suspend that video. So what I've done is the video you're going to see now would have been the follow, you know, next week's video, which is probably good because it's a little bit long and I'm launching the boat on Wednesday. So next week's video will be the launch of the boat instead. So this works out okay. And I'll just put that video live once the uh, issue about the dangerous driver is finished. So hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, talk as said. Okay guys, it's Sunday the 13th. My bed's in the back. And uh, it's supposed to be the hottest day of the year so far. Taking the bed up to Wilton Marina. Don't really, I feel so lazy, I just don't want to go, but I need to do it. It's been just sitting around at home. After 200 yards, turn right, A for 11, Barnet Road, then turn left. Nah, I'm not going that way, Tom Tom. Turn right, then turn left. M25 just to start of it really. I'm in such a low mood today, I don't know why. I just thought I'd just poodle along, I'm not doing I'm not racing along, just poodling. No rush. I don't know, I think uh, I don't think it's just me that gets these really low moods, but I mean one of those low moods, I don't mean to be depressive. But then again, my channel is my vlog, and I am struggling with mental health. And unfortunately, today I'm on one of the lows, but I refuse to let it get to me. Hence, I've decided to go out. I was supposed to do this run today, and I put it off. I went, actually went back to bed. But. Like I said before, sometimes you just got to force yourself out the door, which is what I'm doing. I just don't want any incidents today like we had on the last one. That's caused me more anxiety when you think about going out again. And it's a bit like falling off a bike, get back on. I think the reason I'm feeling a bit anxious and getting this anxiety is because it's getting so close to the moving in day. I mean, it's Sunday today, and I've chosen Wednesday to depart the marina. And if you think about what's, what I'm actually doing, it's actually a very big step. It's a life change. Moving from my house, or my room, should I say, into a boat out on the cup and never been on a boat really it's a real jump it's a leap but I chose to do it because on the canals you've got all the facilities there you've got shower blocks water points diesel it's all there for you got to learn how to um, navigate yourself to them, plan ahead I suppose, and I do overthink things I think, it's probably really simple. Turn right, then turn left. Here we 
are. Turn Wilson left, Marina. Then you have reached your destination. Oh, it's busy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. and get the keys, I suppose. We're at Milton, Wilton Marina now, and it was really busy there. So many cars in this car park. Normally when I come, it's quite empty, but it was quite busy, and I didn't bother going to the car. Then you have reached your destination. That's the Tom Tom trying to catch Ooh. up with me. So this is really then. the last trip I'll be driving anyway um, to the boat. It's Sunday, and I'm supposed to be leaving the marina yeah. on Wednesday. I think that's probably why I'm so I'm so anxious at the moment, is because it's getting near the date. And of course, I overthink everything. So I'm thinking things like batteries, you know, running out getting de even getting diesels on my mind and you know and all the other things like solar all that stuff's in my head and really I should be just trying to enjoy the moment you know have a bit of fun driving that boat out of there so I think it'd be quite an experience cheers yeah so many boats here so many boats moored. You'd think they'd all be out in the car, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. Must be a good business to run a marina. A lot of cars parked along this stretch as well, so a lot of the boats are in as well. So, yeah. This is me on the boat now, just preparing it for all this crap I've got in the back of my car. Well, it's not crap, it's my bed, really. And things. So hot. I see so many caravans park, park there on that spot. They host down their um, trailers and stuff. And, uh, so yeah, so basically, the loading begins. It's very tempting to park the car on the road there. Save the uh, back and forth business. That's the bed, believe it or not. <laughs> it's, it's a fact. Yeah. This audio that I'm talking to you on isn't that great because my mic is on the boat. <laughs> it's all on the boat. Everything's on the boat. Um, so... I'm sort of just making do with the um, AirPods for the iPhone. Yeah, that's that's a bed in that box. Yeah, I am actually getting a little bit worried in case I'm putting too much stuff on the boat. I don't know if there's if can you overload a boat? I should imagine you could. I have noticed that the more stuff I put on the boat, the more it sways left and you know side to side. I've noticed that. Yeah, I do speed up some of these bits. I think that's the mattress. I have actually got a mattress I could have took from home, but I anticipated the um, travelling. So. I wanted to buy one because I knew it would come air packed like that so I could get it in the car. But I didn't want to sleep on pull out beds or anything. I wanted a proper bed. There's nothing more depressing than going to bed on an uncomfortable mattress. So I think I think it was 
a really good idea for me to buy that single bed. That was one of the things in the motorhome, was the sleeping area. I just found it so uncomfortable. And at least here, now I can have a proper bed, even if it is just a cheapy one. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are the slats, which I need to screw down at some point. I don't think it comes with any screws, I'm told. I know someone else who bought a bed from Ikea, and they said they didn't come with screws. And the slats keep moving. So I got I bought two number plates for the boat number because I can't paint the number on yet. You might just glance in there. See, yeah, there's, there's a car number plates with my boat number. I thought it was a good touch. Yeah, so at this point it was just kept bringing it on, and in a minute you're going to see what I was talking about about the swaying of the boat. In a minute when I bring that um, bed through, the mattress. And it really caught me by surprise. Caught me here. Whoa. Yeah. And here. You can just see it on the camera. See that sway? I'm pausing there because I can feel it. <sighs> See, that's why it's quite a lot, isn't it? I suppose that's normal. <laughs> I'm assuming that's normal. Yeah, I sort of kept the camera view there to so, see the sway. You can see it here as well. See the curtain um, blind swinging. See, the boat seems a lot buoy more buoyant here. Because I think, obviously, because there's more weight in it, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to, one day I'll meet some more boaters and I'll mention it. Yeah. That's um a hose, thirty meter hose. I'm just running out of places to put things. Yeah. All in all, the boat's ready to go, really, at this point. I think that's everything. It is hot in here, actually. Okay, so that's everything brought in. I've only got one more lot to go. That's the main thing, like my laptop. And that's it, really. Laptop stuff, computer stuff. Few more clothes and all done but since i brought this extra weight the bed the boat feels more swingy and i can hear water maybe that's the water tank i can hear but i definitely got a lot of stuff on this boat most of the weights at the back but it'll all even out when i start putting things away i suppose Let's go out to the porch. Oh. <coughs> the real strong smell of gas.
don't know why there's a smell of gas, but it definitely looks all off. This one feels. I don't know. Oh, the spider was back again. Seriously.